I am Santosh Gaidankar. Today we are solving about the 4 bar mechanism. AB is nothing but 50, sorry, AD is nothing but 100 centimeter. AD, AB is 50, cent, 50 mm, BC 66 mm, and CD is 55 mm. We are taking the scale 1 is to 1. The important part of this problem is nothing but the two forces are acting here. One force act BC at a distance of C of 30 centimeters or 30 mm, and one more force act at a distance of CE a distance of 25 mm. That is P is equal to 500 Newton, angle of 45 degree. Here Q is 600 Newton, an angle of 60 degree. Here we are obtaining the total torque. First, I will consider this part by considering this is unknown. I will find out the T1. And next part, I will consider this one. I will find out the T2. Then I will go for total torque T1 and T1 plus T2 based upon the direction. It is a clockwise or anti clockwise. Let's start. I will consider this one. It is 55 mm. I will draw a line of 55 mm here. Fifty five. C E is nothing but twenty five mm. I will draw an arc of twenty five mm here. Twenty five mm arc. Forty five angle. Forty five. The arrow is at this direction. Here P is nothing but 500 Newton. Now, this link, I will draw a line exactly parallel to this link. Here, I will extend here. Now, this link is nothing but F34. I will consider this one as F34. I will extend this force, it will coincide. From this point, I will draw a, this one is nothing but F14. Now, based on this one, I will draw a force polygon by considering the scale 1 centimeter is equal to 100 Newton. First, I will draw a line of this one exactly parallel to this one. Five centimeter. Arrow is known this direction. Next, I'll draw exactly parallel to this one in this direction. Next, I will move parallel. To exactly this one. Here, as per the force polygon, if the arrow is this direction, the next arrow will be this direction, and third will be in this direction. This is nothing but F14, which is not required for us. This is F34. If you measure it, it is around. Two, 2 into 100 you will get 200 Newton now after getting this one I will go directly for this one because I will not consider this one I will consider the problem as a simple problem that means F34 is equal to F43 and F43 is equal to F23 and F23 is equal to F32. I will draw a line exactly parallel to this one. Then I will find the torque. Fifteen. that is 5 cm. The force act here. Exactly opposite I will draw a force. 
in this direction. Because for this link, I will consider a simple link here. I will assume that this is the link. This link I am considering here, parallel. Based on this one, the force will act in this direction, opposite the force, that is F43. The one more force will act opposite in this direction. This will be F23. And the next force will act here. Directly I have drawn this one. And this will be F32. Draw exactly parallel to this link. But in opposite direction. Now it is rotating again anti-clockwise. Therefore, couple has to be generated in clockwise direction. I will consider this T2, sorry T1. And extend it and find out the H here. Extend this part. It is 3.8. The H will be 3.8 here. 3.8. Three point eight. Now T is nothing but what? T one is nothing but F three two into H. F three two is nothing but what? Two hundred newton into three point eight into hundred. The scale I have to take. If you go for calculation. It become 200 into 3.8 into 100 and you are the thousand sorry I have to take this one as a not in centimeter in mm it should be a 38 38 sorry it should be 38 200 into 38 mm and for the answer will be 200 into 38 it is 7600 newton mm divided by 1000 it becomes 7.6 newton meter it is in mm 38 mm the first part is completed i will go for second part this part i will consider now bc is nothing but bc is 66 we consider 66 here at this portion stay 66 and C C of distance is 25 25 and this part is 25 60 degree sixty degree this Q is nothing but 600 Newton now we know this this angle sorry this link Now this link has to be parallel, extend it now and extend this part again, just extend it a little bit further, extend this part, it will coincide and this force is nothing but F43, we are least bothering about this one, we are focusing about the force F23, this plays an important, after completion of this one, you have to go for force polygon. I will consider the scale. One centimeter is equal to hundred newton. That means six centimeter. I have to draw a line of six centimeter. I will draw a line of six centimeter here. Six centimeter. Next, I will draw a line of this part 4 3 next i will go for this one line, parallel to this one i 
as per the force polygon close the loop this is f 2 3 you have to measure this one Three point eight, sorry, thirty eight, because I have taken it in centum in terms of centimeter, therefore it is three point eight eight multiply with hundred, it will be three eight doubles. 38 Newton 38 Newton this one is not required for us this Q is nothing but 600 Newton now again you have to bring this link just this link again you have to bring it I will consider this link again draw a link here mm it is 50 draw the forces draw the force here this force I have to draw in this direction one more force in this direction but in opposite direction and just wait a while we will consider nearby this one centimeter the force act in this direction one more force act in opposite direction this force will be F 3 2 and this will be F 1 2 draw a line parallel to this one this will be the H. The H is 11 mm. F2 is nothing but 38 Newton. Now, it is rotating in anti-clockwise, anti therefore torque has to be applied in clockwise direction. Now, if you go for calculation of T2, F32 into H. 380 into h 11 the answer will be 418 mm divided by 1000 you will get 4.18 newton meter the final torque is nothing but because both are rotating in clockwise direction therefore we have to take t1 plus t2 if it is in anti-clockwise direction we have to take as a t1 minus t2 7.6 plus 4.18 the answer will be 11.78 newton meter i am Satosh Gaidankar Thank you very much.